Good morning. So we are just outside of Taos at the Phoenix Earthship. It, this is a VRBO, you can rent it for a night and we did that last night. It is also for sale if you wanted to buy the Phoenix Earthship. This is one of Mike's older Earthships, so that's a little bit different in design but he likes to keep this one because it can show you truly what it might be like if you were to grow all of your own food within your house, which is really cool. Um, so this would be what you might consider the granddaddy of them all as far as earthships are concerned. Come with me. So um, an earthship is a house and the term earthship was coined because on a ship you have everything that you need to survive and so everything that you need to survive is contained in this house. Um, earthships are made out of 40 to 45 percent recycled materials as you can see here we have a glass bottle wall um, when coming in you saw some can canisters that held some plants in the top and you're going to see a lot more recycled materials as we go through here so the Earthship collects rainwater and it filters it through and uses it for all of your water needs. So it provides your water for you. That's part of that ship thing. It provides food for you. It provides shelter for you. It provides heating and cooling for you. And like I said, there's a whole lot of trash that has been used and recycled. This I think is the handle of a linseed oil can or something similar, complete with a cute little quarter right here. So, wonderful cheap handle that's pretty unique. I'll let you So, in order to maintain a decent temperature in the Earthship, you want to have airlocks. So, this cute little porch functions as an airlock. Right now we have both doors open, but... And then you come in here, and this is the inner part of the inner greenhouse. And these, this vegetation is just phenomenal. It is beautiful, it is big, it is lush. It's putting more oxygen into a, this house than any average home, no matter how many house plants you have. It's just amazing. And then you come back into here, and this is what would be the master bedroom. And something I said, we use 40 to 45% recycled materials. This wall, is made out of tires. So you take re old tires that can't be run on your vehicle anymore and you pack them full of dirt and you make a tire brick and then you stack those and you make a tire wall. So this functions as thermal mass for you. It helps keep your house warmer. Um, it releases heat when the temperature drops down a little bit and it keeps you cool because of how thick the wall is and how it keeps you insulated. So back here you can see some raw tire wall that um, did not get covered over with adobe um, and then cob. So that's what that looks like when it's raw. This um, is an extra bed up here that someone could sleep on if you wanted to, if you have a lot of people you're trying to house. And again just some beautiful blue and green bottle art right here. Um, the floor is mostly flagstone. This is not the best place to look at it. We'll look soon. But the floor is mostly flagstone and that provides more thermal mass for you. That keeps your house warm again. And down here, this is really cool. This is the only earth ship I'm aware of that has this kind of little alcove basement down here. The temperature in this room is epic. It is, I don't even have a guess for you, maybe 60. It feels really good. It's the middle of summer outside right now. It is early in the morning, but it's already getting hot out there. And this temperature feels really good down here. Um, New Mexico is a high desert, so it is hot in the day and cold at night. And in the winter, it can reach temperatures below freezing. Um, and these houses don't have um, wood heat, they don't have gas heat, they just keep themselves 
hot based on the thermal mass and the collection of sun through the glass on the south side. We come back up here into the bathroom and I think this shower is just amazing. It's beautiful. Again, it's recycled bottle art that makes up the shower. You get to shower in a jungle with all of those plants around you. The humidity from the shower gets to go feed the plants. Pretty nifty. And right here, this rope is attached to a vent through the ceiling. And that's part of your ventilation system, part of how you keep it cool. So your hot air rises and will leave that way. We come on into here. This is what would be a second bedroom. Um, again, beautiful bottle art. These are tire walls on either side here. And back in here, we have a utility area and you can see these raw tires again. Uh, utility and storage. And in a couple spots, like right here, they have used just aluminum cans as filler material in between the tires. And then over here you can see also the raw can um, column and a raw glass wall. And it was finished on the other side when you saw it. This is what the raw back side would look like without the cob on it. And then you have the greenhouse to the south, and it is just lush and beautiful. You have sort of a south wall made out of all of these plants on this bedroom right here. This would be your inner greenhouse. So they split it with a outer greenhouse and then an inner greenhouse. And the reason for that is that when you have the inner greenhouse like this, it maintains the temperature in the house at about a st steady 70 degrees. Out in the greenhouse, it can get hotter than that and it can get cooler than that. But with that buffer zone, this in here stays about 70 degrees and it was comfortable all night long. So you can grow anything you want. There's cactus in here, there's banana trees in here. This is your living room which is just incredible to me. Um, there is a waterfall here, as you can see. This is gray water. And then behind it is a fireplace. Um, Mike Reynolds, the creator of Earth Ships and Earth Ship Biotexture, wanted a room that had all four to five elements in the same room. So you have water, fire, air, uh, metal, and then um, rock and dirt would be your, uh, well, metal would be your minerals, but you've got your earth and the dirt and the rock. So can you imagine just sitting down and reading a book here in this beautiful jungle? It was really fun last night. It was great. And the art that they put into the earth ships is just amazing. You saw it in the fireplace. There's stained glass everywhere. Again, this right here is a big tire wall, and it works good not only for heating and cooling, but for insulation. Um, you can be in a bedroom over there and not really know what's going on over here, so it's a great sound barrier. Um, I love these cabinet doors, these chairs. They've made all of this. You've got another can wall, another recycled bottle wall. Um, your kitchen, your stove is propane, your refrigerator, I believe this one is also propane. Um, let's see. Let's talk about water. So, like I said earlier, we collect all of the rainwater um, from the roof. So the roof is just a giant collection. And it goes through a filtration system. So your drinking water is in these little goosenecks and they get, it gets filtered three times. And then your other 
for washing dishes, washing clothes, washing your body, gets filtered one time, and then that goes into the greenhouse beds and it waters all of the plants in the inner and the outer greenhouse. And then that water gets taken up again and goes back into your toilets for your black water use. And then when the toilet gets flushed, it goes outside to a black water cell where it's filtered, and then it can be used to water exterior plants. Um, typically not root vegetables, but you could do trees or grass. Um, yeah, so your rainwater collection gets used four times. So you're only gonna use a quarter of the amount of water that you use in a conventional home in an earthship. So you may think you won't be able to collect enough rainwater, but you can because you're not using as much either. You're reusing it and reusing it and reusing it. So this is um, the Phoenix East. There is the Phoenix West over there that other people are staying in, so we're gonna respect that privacy, but do know that there's another bathroom and bedroom over there, and you can rent the whole thing if you so chose. Let's go out here. So this is the exterior greenhouse. Again, more bottle art. This actually is, I think, is either old car hoods or washing machines that they cut and just made beautiful scales all the way down. Um, we got to eat in here last night. There's just this gorgeous sun mosaic up here in this gazebo that is still enclosed. It was humid in here from people showering this morning and it just felt like an absolute tropical jungle. It was wonderful. You've got the fish tank back here. There's um, tilapia and goldfish in this. There's a banana tree here. There was a giant aloe back there. There's some citrus up here that we got to try last night. Um, there's some grapes back here. You could grow anything that you wanted. You could grow, you know, I go conventional in my head of what we eat all the time of tomatoes and lettuce and spinach and kale, but you could grow bananas and mangoes and papaya, anything you wanted. And in this one, there are these birds that are going to help with your bugs in here. Let's see, it's a parakeet and a cockatiel, I believe. And so we stayed in a different one night before last, and there were a lot of roly polies that we noticed. And I think that these guys help out with the roly polies a lot here because I actually haven't seen any. And then we can come outside. And you've got this beautiful courtyard that you can come grill in, you can picnic in. Your kids would be contained if they needed a place to play. Um, and you're in the middle of the desert, but this just doesn't feel like desert. These trees are big compared to the surrounding area because of what's being watered from that use, reused black water cell. Right on cue. We have chickens over here that you can get the eggs from. Uh, you could do anything you wanted to with this space. You could make the courtyard bigger. That's um, a can and bottle wall right there. You could push it back and have, you know, all your livestock contained right here. It would just be amazing. And over here, we have an example of rainwater collection. So this is the south face of the roof, so it's not gonna go back to your big water tanks that are buried in the earth berm, but it's going to come down here and water this vine, and it may go on down into the cell that's outside. I don't know. Did I miss anything? I don't think so.